security against any surprise attack. Agreed with an Israeli request to stop the distribution of a book that contains some pretty damning information about the Israeli secret service, the Mossad, if it is true. Here's ABC's John Martin. The most sensational claim in the book involves this bloody day, the Beirut Marine Barracks bombing. The book says Israeli agents kept vital information from U.S. Marines that might have saved the lives of 241 Americans killed here. Israeli government sources deny this account, but according to the book, an Israeli informant saw a Mercedes truck being fitted with secret panels for explosives. Israeli troops were told to be on the lookout for the truck. But the book says the Israelis intentionally gave the Americans only a vague warning, not mentioning the kind or size of vehicle. The book says Israeli intelligence was willing to let the terrorists succeed to protect their sources and out of contempt for U.S. intelligence. It says agents withheld information on U.S. hostages for similar reasons. In Toronto today, the author was under a court-ordered gag not to discuss the book or the case. You see, there's two restrictions. There's one restriction that I can't talk about what I learned or have done in the Mossad, and the other restriction is I cannot talk about anything that's in the book. Israeli officials confirm that Viktor Ostrovsky worked for the Mossad in the 1980s. Alarmed by the contents of the book, they got it temporarily blocked in Canada and the United States. It's the position of the Israeli government that the information contained in the book could very well lead to the identification of employees of the Mossad and could jeopardize their lives. But the book's introduction says it does not name active agents and gives only initials. It does say that more than two dozen senior Israeli agents routinely gather intelligence in the United States. Late today, the book was put out for sale in New York after the court lifted its restraining order. The publishers claimed victory, but the Israeli embassy said it will still pursue its action against the author. John Martin, ABC News, Washington. When we come back, South Africa.